Three years after the debut of the original, Amazon decided the time was right to refresh its flagship smart speaker, the voice-activated Amazon Echo. It arrives to find a landscape littered with new competitors not just the Google Home, but also Apple's upcoming HomePod, the platform-agnostic Sonos One, the Cortana-powered Invoke from Harman Kardon and countless others. At $100 nearly half the cost of the original the new Echo seeks to undercut all of them. Like its predecessor, it doesn't offer premium audio quality, but it's still strong enough to fill a room with decent sound. If you like, you can connect it with your existing audio setup using either Bluetooth or a 3.5mm cable, something you can't do with the original. It also now comes in an attractive and compact design, with a variety of new, interchangeable shells to choose from to tweak its outward appearance. To be clear, the new Echo isn't any smarter than before it does everything the original does, and the original does everything it does, save for connecting with external speakers. That considerable list of capabilities continues to grow, though, thanks to a regular rollout of skills, software updates and integrations with third-party gadgets and services, it's the same Alexa speaker that quickly became a dominant smash hit, only now it's cheaper and nicer looking. And here come the holidays. 11. Take a look at the new Amazon Echo Alexa's new look. The new Amazon Echo is shorter than the original, and it comes in a variety of new shells that each give it a unique look. By default, you get a grey fabric shell in your choice of shade sandstone light, charcoal dark or heather in between. Spend an extra $20, and your Echo can come in a hard-bodied silver shell, or a wood grain shell in oak or walnut, in large image, modal template, content, set content and eye nightfalls, greater than the new Echo's interchangeable shells and compact design should help it compete with the Google Home smart speaker. Taylor lies in BC net for my tastes, the wood grain shells clash with a black plastic top and blue indicator lights, so it'd probably just stick with fabric. That said, if I changed my mind down the line, I could mix things up and swap that fabric shell out for a different one just as easily as swapping out the case on my phone, to the so, you just push up through a hole in the bottom of the shell to force the inside of the speaker out sort of like a push pop. Then, you slide the speaker down into its new shell and twist to lock it in. The new Echo's squat stature and interchangeable shells seem largely aimed at shoring the product up against the Google Home, its chief competitor. The two speakers are roughly the same size, and the home features interchangeable base coverings of its own. Matching it on both fronts makes it tougher for customers to pick Google over Amazon because they prefer the design. Here's the other interesting design note on the second Gun Echo it's almost more of a follow-up to the Echo Dot than anything else. Not only does it borrow the Echo Dot's O out jack and emphasis on compact design, but it also ditches the original Echo's volume ring in favor of the Echo Dot's volume buttons, almost certainly in an effort to get the cost down as low as possible. Don't forget that the original Echo Dot cost $90 before Amazon cut the price to $50 for the follow-up. With its price cut from $180 down to $100, the new Echo is following the exact same formula and why would NT? It the second gun Echo Dot is Amazon's best-selling Alexa gadget for now, anyway. So how's it sound? Compared to the original to my ear, it sounds about the same maybe a bit less tinny. Setting aside the portable, battery-powered offshoots and the oddball third-party devices like GE's Alexa lamp, we've seen three tiers emerge in the smart speaker category. The first, which includes the Google Home Mini and the Echo Dot, is made up of pint-sized, low-cost speakers that focus on the smarts and leave sound quality as an afterthought. At the other end of the spectrum, you've got premium-priced smart speakers like the Google Home Max and the Apple HomePod that promise high-fidelity audio above all else. Like the original, the Echo sits right in the middle, squarely between bad and great. Casual listeners will likely call that good a good enough, at least. If you're an audiophile, you'll want something richer sounding, but you also probably already have a setup you're happy with. If that sounds like you, just get an Echo Dot.